In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Wancher World Tree Sandalwood Fountain Pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about the pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Wancher World Tree Fountain Pen in Sandalwood. This is the first Wancher pen I've ever purchased. Wancher supposedly means everything beautiful in Japanese. It's definitely a nice looking, very simple pen. Wancher does a lot of nice looking Arushi pens and they're all kind of relatively affordable for a Arushi pen. That's not to say that they're they're cheap because Arushi is expensive, but this one was sort of the first Wancher that appealed to me. I like the, the wood materials that they selected. These come in sandalwood, ebony, and then I think they have a new one called Vera Wood, which looks, I think, really pretty. That's probably what I would have bought if that was an option at the time. And their pens are very customizable. There's a lot of options when you buy a Wancher pen. I'll go through those options, but first let's walk through the, the pen here. So flat top, there's not really much of a taper at all on the, the cap. It's just sort of a round cylinder here, or uh, sort of bar of sandalwood. And then it's flat on the bottom of the body, but it does taper down quite a bit. It's a pretty wood. I, I like it. There's not, you know, you get a little bit of that wood grain feel, but it's, it's pretty smooth. The clip is solid sterling silver. The clip is made in Japan. I do not know if the rest of the pen is made in Japan. I think it might be, but I'm not sure. The clip has a very crude look to it, and I think that was maybe what they were going for. It comes... So it's solid sterling silver. You can see it says 925, signifying silver content. That's sterling silver. Supposedly the anodization is done in a special natural way at, in a hot spring in Oita, Japan, where Wancher is based. I don't know. It looks cool. If you, you know, if you polish this, it'll just go back to being really shiny sterling silver. The clip is removable, so you just pull it off like that. And this is basically the the base pen here. The price starts at $100, and then it's an extra $50 for one of these solid sterling silver clips, which you can have in this anodized finish or in just the, the polished uh, sterling silver. Now, you'll notice that it moves. As a clip, it's not amazing. Um, you know, it does work. Let's see, do I have something thicker to try to clip this to? Let's try this um, Smythson. It does work. I don't personally trust it that much. You know, if you... I'm always worried that it's just going to slide up when I'm trying to clip it on something because it is so easy to move. And just knowing sterling silver, I think in time, especially if you're using it a lot, it's going to stretch out a bit. But at the end of the day, I suppose you can always just kind of squeeze this a bit and it will uh, become tighter again. So I have, I guess, mixed feelings about the clip. Um, you can kind of see where it's a lighter color here, which is where it was sort of sitting. So you can see it's darkened a little bit with use. But anyway, interesting clip. Again, it's an extra $50 for this sterling silver clip, but it, it does work at least as a, a roll stop. And I do think it makes the pen look, I don't know, more interesting. So, all right, let's take off the cap. So here we have a plastic grip section and we actually have just the same shiny plastic threads as this grip section. I have to say the grip section it feels very plasticky. 
it doesn't feel like a fancy plastic to me, but I don't feel any seams on here like I do some of the pens. Pilot a lot of times has seams on their plastic grip section, so nothing really to complain about here other than just it, you know, the shiny plastic threads. I don't know, somehow it just doesn't feel or look as nice as I, I would like it to. So here we have the Yovo nib. This is a number six nib. And when you buy this pen, you get the option of gold finish, two-tone finish, and then also solid gold nib. I believe the two-tone finishes are an upcharge. I know the gold Yovo nib is an extra $130. And also, so plastic feed here, you also get the option, which I think is nice, you can pay $30 to have the feed in ebonite, or $50 to have it in a red ebonite. I do like that they give you the option, you can really make this pen sort of as nice as you want. It's a standard cartridge converter filling system, and why am I seeing red stuff on here? Well, anyway, that's interesting. It's a standard cartridge converter system, so international cartridges will fit in this. One thing I don't particularly like about this is the Wancher logo. I don't really have anything wrong with the, like, the design of the logo, but you can see the, a very clear difference between the sort of deepness of the standard Yovo decoration and the, you know, Wancher, I don't know what that is. It's like a flower or something. It doesn't look good, and in some lights, the Wancher logo kind of gets lost. It just looks cheap. I, I wish they could have done the engraving more, you know, as deeply as the stock Yovo engraving, which you kind of get on the sides here. So that was, I have to say, a little bit disappointing. It is a threaded nib unit, so you can just twist this off here, and it's, I have the converter in there, which is why it's giving me a little bit of trouble, but so it's very easy to change out, and that was really the reason why I wanted this pen, because I wanted to try some of like the more custom nibs that you can get for that fit a standard Yovo nib. So like for instance, I have this. This is a stacked, it's called a, a Warbird nib, uh, made by Pensloth. And so you can just have a really you know, wild stacked nib on here and just, you know, very easily change it out. So anyway, I do really like that. It's very easy to change out the nib unit and a lot of nib meisters are doing their customizations on Yovo nibs because Yovo nibs are easy to get and they're very nice nibs. So when you slide the clip on and off, you can kind of mark up the wood, which you can kind of see here where spots where it's sort of shiny. I don't know what finish they put on the, the wood, but that is kind of definitely a, a, a downside. It's interesting, the, you can see though inside the cap that, you know, it's solid wood, and even the threading on the inside is wood. So it's not, you know, looking at the, the pen like this, you know, you might think, oh, it's just a, a veneer, but it is actually a, a solid piece of wood that they make these out of. Let's do some measurements, 140 millimeter long. It's a good size pen. This is 126, 127. And then posted, about 165. I don't really like this pen posted. It's a bit top heavy. So just as a comparison, I'll just put it next to some other pens here real quick. So this is a Pilot Metropolitan, and this is a Mont Blanc 149. So pretty big, you know, nice hefty pen. Take the cap off here just so you can see. It's a nice full-sized pen. You can see how big the, the cap is, but really just a, a nice standard full-size pen. Now in terms of the grip section, 
width, let's take a look at that. So at the widest point, about 10.5, and at the narrowest, about 9.2. And it does kind of flute out at the, the end there, so or flare out so that you don't accidentally touch the nib. It's pretty comfortable. It's not super wide, but pretty standard feeling size. Now in terms of the weight, 28 grams, uh, that's with the converter. Uh, without the clip, about 22 grams, so definitely adds some weight on there for sure. It's really not a super heavy pen. 11.32 grams, again, pretty lightweight. So let's do the writing sample. So this is the Hampshire World tree and this is an extra fine and this is diamine bloody absinthe okay so Some fast running. Yep. Uh, I don't know what that means. I think that's. Let's see. Reverse writing. Seems like it can do it pretty nicely. Is it really that much different though? Yeah, a little bit. In terms of flexibility, this is pretty much a nail. You get a little bit, but I mean, yeah, it's basically just a nail. Can't tell if that little skips here were me or the pen. I mean it's an extra fine nib. I haven't had any performance issues with it, especially in regular writing. It's been quite a nice reliable writer. You know, Yovo makes quite a good nib and I think this is no exception. It's... I would say it's not scratchy. I wouldn't find it particularly smooth, but again, it is an extra fine, so I don't think it's anything out of the ordinary. So what are my pros and cons for the Wancher World Tree fountain pen? Well, I like that Wancher gives you a lot of customization options with this pen. You can choose the nib material. They have a good number of widths. You can choose the color of the nib, whether you want a two-tone one or not. You can choose the material for the feed, ebonite or plastic, and you can also choose red ebonite if you want. And I think it's a, a very good looking pen. I kind of like the rustic look of the matte sterling silver clip with the, the wood. It's a very good looking pen. I like that it uses a Yovo number six nib unit, so very easy to unscrew and change out the nib, very easy going and of course Yovo makes really great nibs so it writes great and it's a I think a pretty good pen for the money especially the very base model at a hundred dollars now in terms of cons the clip you know it's it's removable which is nice but it also means that it doesn't work as well because you push on it trying to get it clipped something and it just comes off. So I like the clip as a roll stop. I like the way that it looks, but it's not very good as a clip. <laughs> uh, the other thing I would say, the grip section and the threading here, it's just, it has, it's very plasticky feeling and it is plastic, but it doesn't feel like a particularly nice plastic. I also do not like the Wancher logo on the nib. I can just see that whatever machine they used to put the logo on there was 
not, you know, etching or whatever, carving into the metal as deeply as the decoration that Yovo put on there. So the Wancher logo kind of disappears in the certain light, whereas the Yovo decoration stays. It's just not very nice. I honestly would have just preferred to not have it if they couldn't really match sort of the depth and look of the original Yovo engraving. So that's not really a favorite thing of mine, but other than that, I don't really think I have any other cons. It is a very nice pen, and I do quite like that you get these nice wood options. At the time I bought this, they didn't have this uh, other wood that they call Vera wood, which I think is the prettiest of all three of the woods that they offer. But it's a very nice pen. Those are my pros and cons for the Wancher World Tree fountain pen. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.